In the news tonight, suffocation given as cause of death for a baby died at daycare. A Norton says coalition consensus candidate will likely come from the PNC. I have no problem looking at a consensus candidate. Um, but a consensus candidate in the circumstance most likely will come from the PNC. Like I said to people, there's no sense you having like 90% of the shares and you allow 3 or 10% to determine. Days after the death of three-month-old Kyrie Nelson at Myers Daycare at Caneville on the East Bank of Demerara, the postmortem result gave the cause of death to be suffocation. The PM was done by government pathologist Dr. Nial Singh today at the Georgian Public Hospital's mortuary. On June 28, the child was dropped off at the daycare and hours later, his mother was alerted that Kyrie was not responding and blood was coming from his nose. The child was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. According to a statement from the Ministry of Human Services and Social Security based on investigations, it was discovered that 24 children currently attended this facility, which includes three-month-old babies. The last document issued to Myers Daycare for renewing the child care license was February 7, 2020. Checks with this child care facility during and post COVID-19 always reveal that this facility was closed and Mr. McLeod, the agency's registered caregiver, has always reported that the facility has been closed since 2020. However, investigations reveal that Mrs. McLeod's granddaughter opened a child care facility legally on the 2nd of January 2024, unknown to the Child Care and Protection Agency. No documentation or assessment was ever made for this illegal facility by the Child Care and Protection Agency's Early Childhood Development Services Unit. Washi. Hi people, washing made so easy since I found washi. Washi me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash your soap powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright, have my clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. What are you doing? Igloo ice cream. You know it's good. From the army, I go to the police force, spend five years service. Then take a break and join Sheriff Security. And so far the experience has been good and I'm enjoying it. I like my work, very dedicated and determined. Very nice company, I have a lot of benefits. So I think Sheriff Security is one of the best so far for me, for my experience. The Guyana Elections Commission GCOM is currently conducting a claims and objections exercise to produce an official list of electors OLE. If you became 18 years or over by June 30th, 2024, and you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, or naturalization, or a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more, you are eligible for inclusion in the OLE. GCOM has posted the preliminary list of electors PLE in all of the registration divisions across Guyana for you to check if you are listed and, if so, whether your particulars are accurate. If you have changed your address since you were registered, you need to visit the GCOM registration office responsible for your new area of residence to apply for a transfer. Monday, 15 July 2024 is the last day you can apply for a transfer during this exercise. For further information, contact GCOM at 2250278 or 9, 226656789, 9, or visit our website at www.gcom.org.gy.
Orby Norton, the re-elected leader of the People's National Congress Reform, said he was happy to be re-elected. He noted that it is an indication that people have confidence in him and the engagement has been fruitful. In some circles, there have been talks about the newly elected leader of the Alliance for Change, Nigel Hughes, being the consensus candidate for the APNU AFC at the upcoming general and regional elections. The consensus candidate is a loose concept, but let's assume they're talking about a candidate that all agree to. Um, I have no problem looking at a consensus candidate. Um, but a consensus candidate in the circumstance most likely will come from the PNC. Like I said to people, there's no sense you having like 90% of the shares and you allow 3 or 10% to determine. Our supporters would have elected me with a clear view that they think I'm competent, capable of running an election. Barring some unforeseen, I would say that I have been given the mandate, but I'm still disposed to discussion because things can change in a minute. But as is, I've been identified, still open to looking at another candidate. And that candidate can be from the PNC. Norton was elected on a post after Roysdale Ford and Amanza Walton Seer withdrew their nominations for the party leader. Now, now the two persons that have pulled out are two, mem two members of parliament. It follows therefore that I'm still the leader of the opposition and will be the leader of the opposition and therefore I have to engage in them and work with them. At the party level, I've made it clear that I will use an interlocutor who will engage them and let us work out how we will move forward. As it relates to co-opting to the executive, there are two elements to co-opt into the executive. The leader can identify five and the central executive identify another five. What I've been doing since I'm leader is engaging the central executive, so even the five that the leader would have, appoint, um, have uh, uh, co-opted had the agreement of the party. Now, I do think that I can use an interloc interlocutor, interlocutor, sorry, and engage, and then once the engagements are fruitful, we can engage and work together. For us in this party, everybody is important. You don't win an election just like that. You have to mobilize all the forces working together to achieve your objective. The PNCR Congress was held last weekend at Congress Place of Fire. You will never decline. Citrus, citrus, citrus. Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. Citrus, citrus. It's one of a kind. Citrus, citrus. Extra lemon and lime. Extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% .99 of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer. How do you stay clean? GCOM is currently conducting a claims and objections exercise to produce an official list of electors, OLE. If you are 18 years or over by June 30, 2024, and you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, or naturalization, or a citizen from a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for one year or more, you are eligible for inclusion in the OLE. GCOM has posted the preliminary list of electors PLE in all the registration divisions for you to check if you are listed and whether your particulars are accurate. You can object to anyone you believe does not qualify for inclusion in the OLE. To do so, you must be listed in the same divisional list as the person you are objecting to. Visit the GCOM registration office responsible for your area of residence to make an objection. The objections aspect of this exercise will end on Monday, the 22nd of July, 2024. For more information, contact GCOM on 225027829 or visit 
www.gcom.org.gy. An investigation was launched by the Ghana Fire Service into what was described as delinquency or unprofessional behavior by ranks of the Ghana Fire Service. The action was condemned by the Chief Fire Officer Gregory Wickham. In a statement to the press, Wickham said it had been brought to the service's attention that ranks acted in an unprofessional manner during a major firefighting operation at Bushlot, West Coast Burbies, on Monday. The statement said that once completed, defaulters will be sanctioned accordingly. It was related by the Chief Fire Officer that the Guyana Fire Service is committed to protecting property and lives from fire and offer a service with confidence to all who require it. We will continue to ensure that our ranks reflect this commitment and uphold the highest standards of professionalism, the Fire Chief said. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.